I'm Tony Sklar with BNet TV. We are here at Showstoppers during CTIA 2012 in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm speaking with Inman Abro from Airpush. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well. Glad to be here. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you know what? Gotta love New Orleans. Uh, great city, fantastic food, really lively, and great conference. Absolutely. It's my first time here. I've been missing out. I'm glad to be here. It's amazing. You know, it's a bummer sometimes when these conferences are such amazing cities, but yet, you know, you go from the airport to the convention center to the hotel to meetings to and back and forth, and you don't get to see very much. But, it, you know, you'll, you'll get it. Luckily, the food is such a big part of the city right. that you, can, you can't help but run into some great restaurant or some great jazz spot. So we've been, we've been lucked out so far. You know, I had a chance to uh, share on a panel today. I moderated. You were a participant. It was absolutely fantastic. We talked a lot about AirPush. But for all the people out there in BNET TV land, why don't you give us a brief overview of AirPush and where you fit within the ecosystem. Sure. So AirPush is a mobile ad network for Android apps. Android developers come to us to monetize their apps. Um, advertisers come to us to reach Android users and buy on the Android platform. Uh, what differentiates us between other ad networks is our innovative ad units. We specialize in very high performing ad units that generate very high CTRs for advertisers, uh, very high, high engagement for users, and, uh, and, and therefore we're able to pay our developers much higher CPMs. And what that does is allow us to you know, move the needle in terms of the volume that we can run in our, on our platform and reach ma many more developers and other, other ad networks. So how's that been going then for you? Have you been able to grow the company on that specific model where you're gaining a lot of in-app uh, app pushing? In less than a year, we've been able to reach almost 10% of the Android market. Um, our pitch uh, to Android developers of being able to earn them a sustainable business model um, and, and run ads that are relevant to their users um, was really easy for us to, you know, to gain a market share and gain the real estate we needed uh, to, to you know, bring a sustainable business model to, to developers and to advertisers. Well, that's absolutely fair. What are some of the challenges that you've seen within the ecosystem there? You know, you got a couple little stumbling things that you know that you got to get over and why are you here at CTIA? Um, so I'd say one of the challenges right now is definitely volume on the advertiser side. Um, you want to you increase your advertiser depth and, and, and show users relevant ads. And there's still a lot of brands out there and different advertisers that are holding on to their mobile budgets, um, which is you know, not, not necessarily choking off the industry, but you know, not, the, not the most long-term sustainable business model you can find out there. So we need, those develop, we need the agencies and the brand guys to you know, be more open and learning more about adver mobile advertising. And, a little more innovative in their experimentation in the new media. So, uh, you know, I've had a chance to be in this ecosystem for a little while now, and I've seen you know, mobile advertising grow and grow and grow year over year. Of course, we had that little funny comment today on the panel was like, this is going to be the year of mobile. We've already sort of surpassed every year, every, every year yeah. is the year of mobile. So we, we've surpassed that, right? We know that the you know that these things are here to stay. We've seen the line items and budgets continue to increase for major brands, being able to s expend more dollars within their mobile campaigns. But that didn't stop the ecosystem from pushing forward into you know, and branching out the many different ways that there is a type of interaction. But some of the challenges that still exist, what we talked about in the panel. User tracking, right. probably the biggest issue yeah. right now. I mean, mobile. you can also say mobile's here, mobile's here to stay, but there's some serious deep issues with, right. with Apple deprecating the UDID right. and possibly Google following suit after that. Right. Um, user tracking is still you know, the elephant in the room, so to speak, in terms of what are we going to do? How are you going to track? So I think the education level needs to sort of turn around a little bit. And, and, and we, need to, we as the consumers need to understand, hey, I want you to track me. I don't want to get ads for, you know, hair laser removal, you know, in a different city. It's ridiculous. I'm not, I don't want that. What I want are things that pertain to the things that, uh, that I surf, that I, that I want to see, that are good for my life. And the only way to do that is to give up that info, which is not a bad thing. Correct. And on the advertiser side, that goes back to the volume issue. Is right. Do you have enough volume to be the most relevant you can be? And so it's, it's almost like a chicken and egg issue. And, and again, something we still need to figure out. Um, if you want to do a bunch of local ads, you got to have all the local advertisers. You know, in a perfect world, we'd have a local feed of every local business in every city. Right. We could just serve you the most relevant thing as you're walking down the street, but we don't, we don't have everybody yet. Right. So. All right, well, the, another thing that we talked about today on the panel, but right. uh, I think we can have some further discussion again on that again in the future. Well, finally, um, I mean, what are we going to see from AirPush here in the future and when it comes to those Android developers? So in the next two to three months, we actually have a really big release coming out. Uh, we're going to have a 360 solution that will also offer in-app ads, interstitials, video, and some other really cool ad units that developers have many more ways to monetize their app, especially on the Android system. Hey Amen. thanks so much for taking the time and opportunity to speak with us here today at Showstopper. So we can for an update again in the future, and I hope we get a chance for to be on another panel again. Well. Thank you so much. Fantastic. I've been speaking with Mr. Iman Bro of AirPush. I am Tony Sklar here at Showstoppers doing CTIA in New Orleans with BNET TV.